And I asked them, therefore, I asked tonight, I beg tonight, my brothers and sisters, I tell them tonight, that indifference, especially political indifference, is no virtue. Is no virtue. Too many of the nation's fence-sitters refuse to fight for what is right. Refuse to avoid any interruption in their work, in their dreams, in their hopes. They believe that they will protect their children and that their interests will be best served if they keep quiet. Failing to understand that by keeping quiet, they have endangered the very children they wish to protect. My dear friends, they say they do not want to be involved in politics. I say to you tonight, when they say so, tell them, tell them that of course we all are in varying degrees. I say tonight to all of you that indifference is not a beginning it is an end. It is an end. Indifference is a friend of the enemy. And the enemy in the country is the PNM, Patrick Manning PNM. And therefore, indifference is their friend. Because when you're indifferent, you make it easy for them. I say tonight that in indifference is a sin, a punishment. I say to you tonight that indifference is more dangerous than anger or hatred. Anger at times, anger at times can be creative. If you're angry, you could get things done for good or for evil. But if you're indifferent, you do nothing. Indifference, therefore, can never be creative. So I ask all of you tonight, I ask all of you tonight, I say to you, let us be indifferent no more. Let each of us be our brother's keeper. Or if you want me to say it more, our sister's keeper. I tell you tonight, this is the only way forward. And therefore, it's against that background that this movement for change has decided that we shall host a UNC national convention on November the 29th. On Sunday, November the 29th, we shall host a UNC National Convention. We have a featured speaker, top of the line, coming from afar to talk to us. And when we tell you who he is, it will blow your mind. And following that, we shall pick an interim, interim executive committee to run the affairs of the party. Since those who are there have abdicated their role, so to speak. At that same meeting, we shall produce our final document, our final document, which is the Manifesto for Change. We have collected 65,000 copies throughout the country. We have a committee that is collecting the views, putting them together, and having one document, which will be the Manifesto for Change. Over the next four or five weeks, we shall hold meetings throughout the country, both big and large meetings, to sensitize the public on what we are doing. October the 8th, I'm invited for dinner in the House of Commons. And in the House of Commons, October the 8th, I will tell them about the struggle. And I will also invite them I will invite any of them who are dining with me then to come to the convention to listen and see for themselves. But worse yet, worse yet, this movement for change, this movement for national unity begins, begins at 12.30 p.m. tomorrow when I will have lunch in the breakfast shed. I say no more now. I say no more now. But if you want to know what's happening to me, come and eat with me tomorrow and see for yourself. 
We can't go on this way anymore. We cannot continue this way anymore. We cannot afford to run a government or a party by making deals. You make deals in parliament. You make deals to keep Ramesh and Jack out. You make deals, of course, to keep money in government. We can't continue so anymore. We can't go on so anymore. And therefore tonight, before you go home, I tell you tonight, make a pledge. Make a pledge. And say to yourself that you are part of this movement for change. Change, my dear friends. Change is a form of life. Without change, you're dead. What you are tonight, you were not yesterday. And what you will be tomorrow, you are not tonight. And therefore, if you could accept change, as simple as that, I ask you tonight to accept the greatest change in your life, a change in the UNC. I thank you. Oh,